I'll try to explain the philosophy behind uh, what we're doing. Yeah. We don't think it's necessary to do this to animals. Like, if it was, I wouldn't be having this conversation with people. We think it's completely unnecessary. So we think we're doing this to them for an unjustifiable reason, which is a fleeting taste pleasure, like a burger. I'm trying to find the reason why people eat meat, and it's usually a few. There's tradition, cultural, taste, convenience. You know, not not um, survival. Right. It's about veganism, where we don't use and exploit animals for their bodies. The truth. Have a guess. Pig. That's a pig. <laughs> It's free not to hurt animals. Oh, yeah, thank you. That looks no, 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 Have you thought about, you yeah. know what vegan means, bro? Yeah, yeah, it means yeah. we don't use animals at all. We don't yeah, put their yeah, flesh in our bodies. Yeah. Yeah. Milk's none of that shit. It's healthier, bro, eh? Mm -hmm. Body's a temple, bro, eh? Yeah. You guys eating animals at Christmas? Not me. Not you? Uh, are you a vegan? No. So, okay. Oh, maybe I'll try a vegan now over here. You can do veganuary? Yes, that's Or. This is a ch Challenge 22. You know there's 500,000 vegans in the UK. Wow. wow. 500,000. It's huge. Merry Christmas and compassionate Christmas. Is that us meat? I eat meat every day. But they're animals, yeah, not meat. Yeah. They get turned into meat, but they're animals, sentient beings. You think it's f***ed up what we do to animals? Or? Yeah, of course. You think they deserve it? or? Do you know the, the saying, the meek will inherit the earth at one point? What's the, the meek? Bible. What's the meek? Poor people, the yeah. meek will inherit the yeah. earth. Inherit the earth. That means yeah. people that are being slaughtered badly, like animals, are going to inherit one day inherit the earth because of the wrong that's being done to them. Wow. Person. And that's interesting because one of these documentaries is called Cowspiracy and it talks about how animal agriculture is destroying the earth. So maybe they will destroy the earth to a point where only animals will live here because humans will be wiped out. You thought about not eating animals or st stuff that comes out of them? Are you a vegan? Uh, no. Ah. Unfortunately. Oh, well, yeah, because that's a dairy farm. That's yeah. pretty horrible. I'm pretty aware. Are you aware of it? I've, I've tried to become a vegetarian. You, I've you've tried to become a vegetarian? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The transition was really hard on me, so maybe I'll try again. Okay. Yeah. Do you know the difference between a vegetarian and a yes, vegan? A vegan yes. hey, what's the difference? Do you know? Uh, vegan don't do eggs as well. Um, anything that has anything to do with eggs. Yeah. My products as well. Yeah. We're vegans, you're not know veganers? Yeah, yeah, vegan. We don't use animals at all. Yeah. Entertainment, animal testing, food, uh, milk, eggs. This is the word meat, the meek will inherit the earth. If it's happening to the animals, if you look around all the people around here, they've got a scalpel sticking out of their head. Look, you're the, you're the human product. I didn't even know that the human product exists, did you? Yeah. There's people making money out of people. Yeah. Do you know that? Yes, we're, ex what, we're exploiting each other, we're exploiting the animals, it's happening back to us, yeah? So it's like a circle of, it's like a circle of karma, yeah? Do you believe in karma? Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah? That's so we're, we're eating these animals that have suffered and people are dying of preventable illness in hospital. They've got heart disease, they're getting cancer. So we are suffering along with the animals, using animals for entertainment, zoos and circuses. Yeah, I'm against Testing. Are oh, you against? Yeah. You're against all of them? I'm against. Advocate. For yeah, for animal cruelty, like cruelty-free makeup. Oh wow! But it's just the the food. Yeah, the food. Okay. That, yeah. Let me to give you a little statistic. About 98% of all the animal abuse and cruelty happens because we eat them or something yeah, that comes out of them. So, do you think you can still advocate against animal cruelty while consuming all these products that? Uh, well, I must say that. Not could, really. could you be an animal lover while you're consuming the flesh of an animal that didn't want to die? I think you can, but. It's just that if you don't You can do think it, you can, but do you think your actions reflect that or do you? Um, it depends actually yeah. what you eat as well. But, why? Why is that why is it necessary for healthy meat? Yeah. Okay. Like, like, you don't think you can be healthy without meat? That's coming out of the You can't but once in a while it's alright, you know. You can't be healthy without meat. Yeah, we can't. Like, okay. I think it becomes even more wrong the more innocent the individual. Yeah. Animals are the most innocent. They can't speak for themselves. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. They can't defend themselves. And human beings are in a position of power, and we're exploiting that power. Yeah. You think? Yeah. You, you think you can
can eat animals and still um, be consistent with your view on loving them? Yes. Okay. I actually, yeah. Because I studied zoology and I do believe that they have emotions, they have personalities and all that. Yeah. But I, I think eating them because me, myself, I'm Muslim. I'm Muslim? Yeah, so we, we do eat meat. Say in the Quran that you have to eat animals, does it? Not really. Okay. So I'm saying, do you think you can love animals while you're paying for them to go into the slaughterhouse? No. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I wanted. That, that's it. Oh, she was Muslim. Yeah. Uh, cool. Are you vegan? No, I'm a Christian. Ah, no. I just said that God doesn't God doesn't tell us that we have to eat animals. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. No, they, 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 there might be a loophole that's that you true. can. That's but true. back then, when it was written, it was yeah. a survival situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay? But not now. Not now. I agree. I totally agree. I was so, so why do you eat animals? Uh, yeah, Have you ever thought about why? Have you thought about why you no. eat animals? Oh, this is just a card. It's got ethics, environment, health. And you are you a pretty strong Christian? Yeah. No, no. But you believe in God, yeah? yeah, yeah. The Creator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Of yeah, yeah. Um, and do you think God would be happy with this? Yeah, definitely. He would be happy? God would be happy with this? Yes. No. Of course oh, yeah, that's what, yeah, of course. course. It's a soul. Yeah. At the end These of the animals day, are soul. innocent beings. Yeah, we're animals. Yeah. So, we're part of the creatures yeah. on this planet. So, do you think it's a sin to pay for this to happen to animals when we don't need to? Do you think it would be a sin? Yeah, it is a sin. To, to take, to take yeah. the life of an animal that doesn't want to die That's for true. an unnecessary reason? That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying I am aware of it. Yeah. And you're Muslim? Yes. Okay, and it, I think it's written about 192 times in the Quran that God is compassionate and merciful. Yes, yes, so, I'm aware of yeah. that. And I did have a discussion with my friend and yeah. we think that to be a best Muslim nowadays we have to actually not eat animals. So. Do you know what heart disease is? Yeah. Oh, we, we have a heart attack? Okay, cholesterol, okay, is what builds up in your arteries over time, kills people. Okay, cholesterol is only found in animals. Okay, so it's it's healthier to not eat animals. Yeah. Well, what about creatine? What about creatine? Uh, creatine? Your omega. Uh, your body, your body produces uh, creatine, and omega threes and six can be uh, found in nuts and seeds and um, avocados and all the amino acids you need are found in plants because all the nutrients that the animals get come from where. They eat the plants, okay? We're filtering, you know what a filter is? Yeah. We're filtering our nutrients through another animal. So we're getting the second-hand nutrients from these animals. When we can just go straight to the plants. I just want the animals to be left alone, eh, bro? They've done nothing wrong to us, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. If you think about um, adopting a plant-based sort of lifestyle, every time you pay for a glass of milk, every time you pay for a burger, animals, innocent animals are being put into a slaughterhouse on your behalf. So the power is in the hands of the consumer. And that's all we're asking people to do. Shift what you're buying, go get a vegan burger, get a plant-based burger or whatever. <coughs> They're good, I've had some of them. And plants are good, mate, you know, you smoke plants, <laughs> eat plants. That's the issue. Yeah. Trust me, yeah, I am aware of yeah. it. It's just the transition the right that I struggle What if I help you with it? Now, I can give you a really good website that will help you and it's like, maybe you can do it for a New Year's resolution, right? Okay. But this is cool oh, I, and you'll like it. I was here, I was here. Challenge, oh, if you're already here. Oh, this is oh, just challenge 22. Okay. Yeah. So what do you replace it with? Oh, here, oh, let me show you. This is called challenge 22. Capital J, capital V. You can replace it with all the plant-based alternatives in Tesco's and Sainsbury's. You got uh, vegan milks, almond milk, rice milk, soy yeah, milk. Right. Okay, we've got vegan cheeses. Yeah. Uh, all the rice, beans, potatoes, corn, pasta. The cheapest foods on earth are already vegan. Um, any animal, any any single animal product you consume, animals will be murdered for. All of them. Any eggs, dairy, they suffer. They have their children taken from them. God doesn't want this. I agree. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. So we're changing the world, man. Slowly, slowly. We're trying our best. We just want, we just want innocent beings, vulnerable, to be defended. They're like they should be. You know. When you complete it, you're like. That was too hard, my hair fell out, I'm going to die of protein deficiency. Or you can say, wow, that was really easy, I like the food, I feel uh, better that I'm morally consistent. I'm not paying for animals to be, if you're against animal cruelty, yeah. the only logical um, decision is to be yeah. vegan. There's no other way to be, there's no other way to oppose animal cruelty. If you're not vegan, you still participate in it, so. That's why I, I think so. So, you're a legend. Trust me. <laughs> no, no, you are. No, you're, there, you're there here, but just yes, your actions just action. don't reflect it. Action. And actions mean more than what you think. You know, because in the animals' eyes, they still go into the slaughterhouse because you're paying for them to.
to. So yeah. I do. I do videos. And it's empowering. It's, it's really empowering to say I'm not going to participate in that. I choose not to. You know, people are still going to do what they're going to do. Animals are probably still going to go to the slaughterhouse, but not because you paid for them to. Yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. No worries. Thanks for talking to me. <laughs> Peace. We're just showing people where their food comes from so they can make better choices. Okay. Now if we stopped feeding that grain to animals and this ag animal agriculture slowly went under, we'd have a lot more resources to spread out to the world, yeah? We could actually eliminate world starvation tomorrow in 24 hours if we wanted to. That is impossible. No, it's not impossible at all. Tomorrow in 24 hours we could eliminate, we couldn't even, we couldn't do anything in 24 hours worldwide. We could, we could. There's plenty of food. But you couldn't even choose a vegan burger over a beef burger. Do you eat them? Do I eat animals? No, for, not for four years, yeah. Yeah. Before then you didn't. Before then, but bacon, eggs, cheese, big steak. So you're as bad as everyone. Yep, exactly. Exactly, that's what I say to people. I'm not trying to be superior or anything, but I just found out. So I'm just trying to let people know. And hopefully they go, well, wow, that's, thanks for letting me know that information. I can do something with it. But I just, I just eat animals more than anyone else probably, you know? So I understood, I'm glad I found out because I, I was on my way to a heart attack. I don't, I'm not a person that eats a lot of meat. Too. So you're not attached to it? Like, like I'm not a vegetarian or anything, but I just... I you could really easily live without yeah. it. Are you comparing cutting a cabbage to cu cutting an animal's head off? Or do you think it's the same thing or slightly different? It's, well, it's just going for food. Yeah, but okay, let's just say we don't need to eat animals to survive. Because yeah. there's obviously 2018, there's alternatives now. So you think um, plant foods suffer the same as a pig or a cow or, or an animal or like a dog? Yeah. So you're, you're almost there. You sound like a very conscious individual and you take things, you know, you think about things logically and you believe in karma and things like that. I do, it's not particularly easy to eat, it's actually easier not to eat, but that's another story. Yes. Like, uh, Merry Christmas. Brett there it is. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Cheers. Do you think you can still be healthy while eating the suffered flesh of an animal that didn't want to die? In your stomach, in your body, in your, in your temple? That's just from a health perspective. We talk more about, you know, from the animal's perspective, the animal's perspective, yeah. We think it's unnecessary in 2017, nearly 2018 now. Still got slaughterhouses. That's a dead body, a dead body of an animal who didn't want to die, eh? I'll leave you with that, brother. Nice talking to you, mate, eh?